good start. <laughs> that was the first I breathed my voice. <laughs> ah. What is up? That was the first I've raised my voice since screaming for about, what, 60 minutes straight? I, I did sit down for a few and I thought it was over, but kind of watched quietly. Man, what a game. The Ravens were a much better team than, than us. There, there's no doubt about it in my mind. I think the, the Ravens had awful play calling and they still edged us out. Um, we, we, we had a great defensive game for what we had to do and just Eagles about to score and tie this up, man. B, I thought we had this on that bet. Uh, the great Christmas light fight. Uh, yeah, so I was, I had hopes. I had hope they like the Bills, this is what the Bills do. They leave you hanging in there, hopeful. I've been to three Bills games this year. We have four losses. I have now seen three of them. Three of the losses that we have this year I have seen. Yeah, but man, I'll tell you what. Brandon's lucky that the Bills fans are mostly Canadian and or friendly. Uh, because B was like screaming in people's faces and getting in my face. And, and I'll tell you what, it's probably the only, I told him that probably the only stadium in the world he could get away with that. <laughs> oh, not so lucky for Patrick Mahomes' girlfriend and, and brother who got escorted to a safe environment. Escorted to a safe environment in last night's uh, uh, game in Foxborough. I'm going to turn that volume up a little bit. And, uh, but because Mahomes went in there cold blooded and won their division last night in Brady World, uh, we're going to be giving this away. Everyone's eligible for this. We got ourselves a Patrick Mahomes swatch card. We'll be giving that away. Everyone eligible. It will count as a hit, though, because I'm going to be giving three $5 hitless cards, too. Um, I also have a gold VIP pack. Everyone eligible. These are the bonuses I threw in since you guys were patient with me last night. And listen, I need to clear a few things up. If you saw those highly inappropriate pictures that Brandon took of me while I was sleeping, and let me tell you, that's just creepy the dude took pictures of me sleeping. I don't know how I feel about that. I trusted the people who I was staying in a room with. You know, my mom always said, you know, don't don't go anywhere with strangers. Don't trust strangers. I should have known. Brandon was a stranger. He took full advantage of me. I'm not thrilled about it. But, A, I can drink anyone under the table that has went with me so far, and my beer belly proves it. Two, those were not yoga pants. They were leggings. F off. I don't give a shit. I was warm. <laughs> And three, I slept more in the last two nights than I have slept in the last week prior to it. Um, so, no, 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 Brandon. No. I Listen, I saw the picture in the chat or in the feed that you lied to me about. Don't give me the bullshit because I had an old thread pulled up last night. And today, I happen to see that picture in the feed with comments on it. So don't you give me bullshit saying you only put it in OG chat. Everyone else saw. It was in there. People had comments in the thread. And I saw it. And you're a liar. And I'm going to get you back for it. So it's okay. All right. Here we go. Listen. I have a picture of Chris that I didn't blow his spot up on where he's wearing the the same exact pair of pants pretty much I have. His are probably a lot more pricier than mine because Chris wears nice clothes. But I went and bought a nice pair of gloves and Chris could not get over the fact of how much I spent on a pair of gloves. But that's okay. My, my phalanges were warm during the game. And I'm alright with that. What is up, Eagles? Jeez. You guys like dads with big bellies? Come on. Do not score here, birdies. Your season's over. Let's be honest. Good luck, everybody. Oh, my TV just seriously crapped out. What happened? No. <laughs> On the pass. 
There you go. All right. We really did have a great time. All jokes aside, man, I hope there's more people that get to go to the games with me in the future. Uh, not Brandon, after what he did. <laughs> no, really. Brandon and I rode to New York together. Chris met us there. He flew there early. We get there. Chris already had eaten like a two dozen wings, drank three beers, and took a nap. <laughs> I'm like, that's a full day of activities. You did that while you were waiting for us to drive here? Oh, man. But then it was cool. We, we go in. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I had to use the bathroom. I'm like, I can't go up there and meet Chris. Ah, touchdown birdies. Um, and like blow up our hotel room the first time I meet him. <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling you this. So like, finally, you know, we get ready. We go up. We get our stuff. We go up. And literally, within the first three minutes, we're taking shots of fireball. <laughs> Uh, Chris handed us little Christmas gifts. It was cute, man. We got, we got, uh, we got Christmas gifts from Chris. And they, if you didn't get to see them, it, they're fantastic. He had personalized cover cards made for us or personalized cards. It'll be a cover card for me. It's in my bag. I don't have it tonight. I didn't get to unpack it. Um, just this stuff. This is the first time I, uh, I got down to the break room since I got home. But... Yeah, then we went and had to the Anchor Bar. Not the original Anchor Bar, but uh, where the, 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 the wing was created. And we had some um, Southern Tier Pumpkins. And then uh, Chris Chris had the opportunity to hang, hang out with our Uber driver, who he got intimate with. That was interesting. But yeah, all in all, it was a good week. And I won't take you through the whole weekend. Dwayne Haskins, man. Almost taking down the pack. I didn't get to really watch the recap of any of the games yet, honestly, in all seriousness. Brandon was like nice enough to read some updates to me on the way home today. Out of 49, LJ Collier and a Daniel Jones. Scott wants a wrench. What? Don't delete Scott's messages, Todd. He's OG. Don't do that or you'll lose your wrench. There you go. You're the you're a moderator now. All right, Patty Mahomes and Kill Harry. And what do we got here? How about a Daniel Jones? What is that? Dude, I don't know what this is, but this is nasty. It's got to be part of a glove or a helmet or something. Do you guys see this? It's hard to see. Who got them Giants? This is 18 out of 50. This thing is sensitive today. <laughs> no, you know what's sensitive? My throat. It hurts so bad from screaming. <laughs> Um, 18 out of 50 for the New York Giants going out to Ryan Martin, who just last week got that nasty Zion. Um, so I think he was the first one to get a silver from us. Um, oh, there was something I wanted to freaking tell you guys. Mahomes and Damian Williams, Aaron Rodgers. Yo, how about Drew Locke? How about Drew Locke? What is going on? Is he the is he the best quarterback, rookie quarterback this season? Out of 25, Jason Pierre Paul. It's a pretty cool card. Miles Garrett and Jalen Hurd. Yo, poor Scott Todd, poor Scott. We gotta be easy on him, man. He's dealing with some serious like pneumonia stuff right now. What what is it that you got, Scott? There's a Mahomesies. And a Devin White going out. Oops, don't want to do that. Devin White going out to the Tampa Bay Bucks. Lamar Henry. What just happened there? Oh, the ball fell.
I'm really paying attention to this game because this is my free, not my free, but my insurance bet of the week. I'm pretty safe now. I get one fifty dollar bet a week, and if they lose by six or less, I get my money back or I win. And so I took the Giants because the odds were ridiculous. The money line was ridiculous, but I'm pretty safe unless like there's a pick six with an extra point. Easton Stick, because even in overtime, if they score, they don't let them kick the extra point. Jason, I don't know. Uh, I can check my thing. I have to actually check for someone else something too. Hit me up and let, uh, let me know why you're asking. Darwin Thompson, isn't he now, now? Like, wasn't he the guy they used this week for the Kansas City Chiefs? Like I said, I have not gone and even looked at a lot of the stat lines this week. Um, Darwin Thompson for the Kansas City Chiefs. Are they finally using him? Brandon made a great point on the way home. We were talking kind of about just a whole bunch of different football stuff. And he was saying how um, the Chiefs, man, it's been so hard to pick the running back for the Chiefs because they just keep, you know, switching it out. Now it looks like it's Darwin Thompson. It's been, you know, McCoy early. They used, what's the other dude's name? What do we what do we say about you, Todd? I don't even remember. I do remember we, we said we liked you. That's about where at last I remember. We were drinking a lot. <laughs> True story. Out of 99, Ray Lewis. And Russell Wilson, Darius Leonard, Hopkins, Jones, Dickerson, and Darrell Henderson. And it is a freaking Daniel Jones box. How about the Rookie Stallions card to go with it? I think I put some back here then. Daniel Jones, Rookie Stallions. You know, it's uh, funny. I let I let Chris and uh, Brandon break, and now I'm all disorganized because I had to like kind of figure out what their organization was like. <laughs> yeah, only when we're drunk. We probably don't when we're sober. I can't I can't speak for the other guys. <laughs> oh man, out of ninety nine, Taysom Hill. Man, I Saints Niners game. I want to go watch that. That sounds like it was crazy. Man, if you even would have taken the adjusted line, could you imagine? Wonder what the odds were on that adjusted line for the over under to hit nine. What was it like eighty some points? Seriously, like you know how like so some sites let you do that. They let they let you take an adjusted line and uh, say the over under that game. I don't know what it was. I would imagine it was probably high mid to high forties. But for like every 10 points you go up, the odds get better and better and better. Can you imagine taking like over 75? Look at, e or look at Peyton watching Eli. Shirt and some Friday cards. Oh, yeah. J uh, Friday stuff. Friday stuff. Did not go out with Saturday because Friday, the, you mean the break that we did Friday after my son's party? Is that what you're talking about, Jason? Nothing like that did not go out. It was all the way up to Thursday and then bas basketball stopped at like 11 or 12 4. So we, we were backed up on some basketball stuff that, that will go out this week. This game needs to end right now, like in a tie. For fantasy purposes. Emily, what's going on with your fantasy that you did they just go three and out? God. You gotta be kidding me. They're gonna give the Eagles the ball back. And they're gonna Oh man. This is no bueno. How many of you guys won your... Well, first of all, was anybody in the fantasy uh, playoffs yesterday and won or and or lost? Tell me, what's going on in your fantasy league? I want to know. I, I So far, it looks like I've won three, but I lost like four. I was in like six or seven playoffs. I know I won two. Lost my money league one, though. My di well, my big money league. I'm in a couple money leagues that I'm in the playoffs, but... Won my dynasty matchup. That was really exciting because that's a tough league. 
That's the one that has like six, 32 teams, two divisions of 16. You're still in B. That's good. Yeah, I had Winston, but I played against Watson and Hopkins combined, and I lost in the league. I had Winston. I mean, it didn't help. Like, I had Barkley tonight, so I had a shot at it. I needed, like, 27 points from him. But, I mean, he was projected for, like, 17, and that's not a lot. It's a PPR league. Just pisses me off that, like, he has been trash this year. As far as fantasy value goes. Oh, you won. Oh, you did. Didn't you play me, Scott? Was that you I played? No, I didn't play you. Oh, you didn't take San Fran D out. Yeah, that'll kill you on a game like that. Peterson out of 25. Michael Thomas and a Trace McSorley rookie wave. Jared Goff last night getting doing enough to get the win. Uh, Tyree Jackson and a Matty Ice 2016 NFL MVP going out to the Atlanta Falcons. That's going to be David Lawrence. You play me tied in what in the Legacy League? Yeah, I won that round. I didn't get to check some of those leagues yet. I was primarily talking about like my money league or card leagues. Another Drew Locke rookie wave. I don't think, did you guys answer me? I got to get my picture taken with Devin Singletary. This dude is short. <laughs> I don't know if I posted that picture or not, but if I did, you have to check it out. He's a tiny dude, man. He was cool, though. I talked to him for a minute. He seemed really nice. Out of 99, Devontae Parker, Aaron Rodgers, and Tom Brady. There's Eli playing the night with a Will Greer and... I'll tell you what, Redskins have some promise for next year. Scary Terry McLaurin going out to the Washington Redskins. Showtime Mahomes, which I believe is John John Plecker. Uh, Todd, you know what bothers me about that, Todd? If you like drop a D and you pick up a D in its place, at least on Yahoo, it doesn't automatically plug them in. So if you pick it up real quick last minute or you pick it up and like not thinking don't go to your lineup and, and physically put it in, to me that's stupid. If it's your only D, it automatically put it in the starting. Like who's not starting a D? Ortega Whiteside and Hollywood. There's a Drew Lock Air Command and Dexter Williams, 14 out of 50 going out to the green. Bay Packers, that's going to be John Stevener. I did not get to see any highlights of like any games. Yeah, big I gotta give B a shout out real quick. Brandon, well, both Brandon and Chris were willing to wait with me while I did all that. We I've never in all the years I went to Bill's games, I have never had a chance to like wait after the game. We usually leave pretty quickly, but since we were staying, Brandon and Chris were nice enough to uh, wait, and then Brandon snapped all the pictures. It was awesome. It was a, it was a man, after the Flutie thing, and, and even though we lost, it was still like one of my favorite games I ever went to. For those of you who don't know, a little heads up for this week, probably for the next three days. Schedule's going to be a little wacky. My wife had just her wisdom teeth removed, but she had to go under for it. It was like a pretty, I guess they had a cut in the bone. It was a pretty intense procedure for her, I guess. And she's not dealing well with the like the recovery of it, so I don't know what the, I'm on. I'm on kid duty for the next couple nights, meaning dinners and putting them to bed and baths and whatnot. Out of forty nine, Emmanuel Butler. So I will try to sneak in breaks. You guys are just gonna have to be patient with me uh, over the next couple days. I want to get it in and I want to continue to break. I want to do some cheaper PYTs to be honest, um, but I, it's just I have to, you're gonna have to be patient with me with some scheduling because. I don't know what it's going to look like. Caleb Wilson going out to the Arizona Cardinals. It's going to go out to Ian Hunt. What happened with this? Eli's getting the ball back? Oh, end of regulation. All right. 
Come on. I just need a field goal out of you guys. Come on, Giants. Wow. Pat's admitted to recording. Holy cow. They did it again. And the Bengals? Is this for real? The Pats were recording the Bengals practice or something like that. What, what's going on with that? Someone in our group, there's a Metcalf. Are they seriously up to it again? <laughs> Why do they need to do that? They're not that bad. <laughs> They're not Bengals bad. They may not be the normal, same old Patriots, but holy shit. That's crazy, Todd. It was a production crew. Yeah, but was it for the Patriots? Like, are the Patriots involved? Oh. So now they're outsourcing their shenanigans. <laughs> it's almost humorous. Like why why were they was it for the Bengals? I'm confused. Wow. I don't I mean I don't really care. I don't think it really benefits anyone that much and especially in that situation. What is it that they were looking for? But whatever. Something wacky's going on there though. <laughs> well that's what it is right like they're subcontracting it let's let's do elite next we haven't opened this up in a while guys this mix honestly wasn't one i would typically throw together uh but brandon was nice enough when we were leaving i was i was getting the last shipping out we did i did 135 packages on saturday morning when we were trying to get out to go to the bills game so brandon threw in like boxes of everything he could in the bag and we did that mega on on uh, Friday was it Saturday night before the game, and this is kind of what we had left when we got back to the hotel, uh, what was left that we could break. So I did it as cheap as I could, threw it up for you know a, a pretty solid price. But I, I usually like to get some more of the like I like the origins elements, gold standard stuff in there mixed with all this base. But this is what we had, and we put it up, and then my fat ass fell asleep early last night. <laughs> It didn't look like we filled anyhow. I had the chance to do that, Chris, and I didn't just because I, I I didn't see any of it prior. Is Prism Basketball still hot? Like, is it still rolling? Eagles getting the ball for... Well, don't forget, guys, you don't have to go hit this to be eligible for a chance to win the gold pack, the Mahomes, or the three Cyber Monday pack. All right, those are eligible to everyone. They will count as a hit if you hit one, but we'll still be giving out three $5 hitless credits as well. Um, so we got a lot to go yet after the break. Hopefully we hit a bang out of one of these boxes. Um, it was cool. One of the cool things riding home with Brandon. Uh-oh. One of the cool things riding home with Brandon today and even riding there to the game uh, was uh, he was looking up just we were just talking about cards a lot and uh, <laughs> oh I'll comment on that in a minute um Josh that that break but it was it was cool that we what we were seeing was uh, how how valuable the parallels can be you know like just optics out of 25 of, of like rookies of Lamar, like what they're going for, hundreds of dollars. And so when we look at these elite cards of the Phoenix or the Certified, or as we get in the Optic coming out in December, like it's easy to say, oh, I didn't get a hit because there's, you know, there's very few hits in Optic, one autograph per box. But these short print parallels, like not maybe not so much out of 299 nice Drew Locke though, going out to the Denver Broncos. If he becomes a man, I mean, you, you're talking to some value there.
Aaron, I have a, a retail box. I still have some hobby, so maybe we'll get into that tomorrow. Ooh, out of 299, Dwayne Haskins. And I'll, you'll see me doing this more. Top loading a lot more of the co rookie quarterback parallels. Numbered Kittles are going way up. But yeah, uh, to your point, Josh, that break was an absolute shit show, and it was fantastic. It was an awesome break. Out of six ninety nine, Garrett Bradbury. Did you guys enjoy that or was it annoying? Be honest. Title waves, Lamar, not numbered, going out to the Ravens. Honestly, it was. I I always want to do a break just to sell out of six ninety nine when we have people visiting. So we did it. Man, this guy had a game tonight, didn't he? Blue ink for the New York Giants going out to Ryan Martin. All right, Todd. Yeah, let me know. You guys liked it. We wouldn't. We wouldn't do breaks. I felt bad if that was someone's first chance seeing us break because it was a shit show. We we look like second rate, uh, <laughs> second rate breakers. <laughs> but man, was that fun! I was dying, man. We woke up the next morning. We were like, <laughs> "What the hell did we do?" Well, actually, Chris woke us up and says. <laughs> It was like the beginning of a uh, Home Alone. <laughs> hey guys, we slept in, <laughs> and we're like all running around trying to get to the game on time. Out of ninety nine, going out to the Kansas City Chiefs. That is gonna be Emily with the uh, spellbound E. Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> we were very good. But cards were all taken care of. You can ask you can ask Brandon, you can ask Chris, even right afterwards. I'm like organizing them in boxes and top loading and like even changed out. I didn't like the way the one was in a bigger top loader when it should have been in a regular one. So I went back, like I got in the zone then and did it. Chris was like, I don't know how you keep track of all that stuff, but I put them all in very safe keeping. Nothing like that's just important to me. You guys know I normally don't break like that. Um we were having a good time, and so I'll make sure that doesn't happen like that again. But it was it was definitely a fun time. I appreciate you guys jumping in on that. Here we go. Daniel Jones. Some cool stuff in this. I forgot how cool this stuff was. Oh, we were definitely squirreling on that. <laughs> Even And you knew you knew it, uh, we were drunk when Brandon offered to get in and break because he did not want to do that. Had that one good eye working. <laughs> What one good eye? What? You see, there's nothing on the back of that. Uh, here we go. It's going to be a turn of the century out of 49. Ryan Finley going out to the Cincinnati Bengals. It's going to be Chris Vogt. Yeah, Brandon, I let you have a short box at the Obsidian. I'll tell you what, Chris said it too, and I not, and I think Brandon even mentioned it the night before. It was um, how nice Obsidian is in person. It really is an awesome set, especially in person. J.J. Watt, and there's a McCool Hardman. That's going to be out of 25 for the Chiefs, McCool Hardman. <laughs> Yeah, we, we left the next day. We put up the do not disturb sign up. We were like, yeah, they're not coming in here. We have we had a mess. We got, we got it all cleaned up, though. Another, oh, I thought I was going to say Daniel Jones. Eli Manning, there's a James Conner and a Matt Ryan. What's going on in this game? Are they that close to scoring? Second and goal, shit. Oh, but it's overtime, so they won't kick the extra point. Okay, cool. I'm safe then. Out of 40, Mike Weber for the Dallas Cowboys. I just won't win my money. Let's 
game. The Eagles needed that. They should be excited. Poor Eli, man. That was his homecoming, and they, they couldn't even win it for him. Homecoming. I should say his comeback attempt. Out of 99, status, J.J. Watt, die cut. You got, I bet you, Emily, you're among a higher percentage than you think where that game just effed them. Man, poor Eli. That was his chance. Couldn't get it done. McCool Hardman out of 699. Heard this guy's out for the season. I don't know what happened to him. What happened to him? Prime targets. Calvin Ridley out of 49. Player worn material. Another one for the Falcons. They've been. Um, they've been uh, hot lately in cards, man. We've been pulling more Falcons than I can remember in any recent history. Prime targets. And Wentz out of 299. Primary colors. And Playmakers, Patrick Mahomes. And kill Harry out of 299. Deion Sanders. Devin Singletary. And that'll do that box. All right, we got to get more out of this. Anything you guys want to see me, um, anything you guys want to see us break tonight, or tonight, this, uh, not tonight, this week in a PYT, something we haven't seen, or just do Obsidian, some more Rookies and Stars, maybe do a Rookies and Stars Obsidian Mixer, what do you guys, what do you guys want to see? I, I didn't have a good speaker hooked up. I didn't even mess with my soundboard and stuff tonight. I just wanted to get this in, honestly. It's been a hell of a long night. I got home from the game and went right into dad duties. Well, I should say husband duties. Got my wife fed some jello. Got some things taken care of that she needed done. Ran and got the kids and it's been nonstop. And then I completely forgot about a program we had. My wife, the trooper that she is, did not want to miss my son's Christmas play. So she went, she got that big old thing wrapped around with ice and everything. She she hoofed it to the play with us and watched them in the play. That was cool. Playbook and Obsidian and Mixer PYT. Playoff, playbook, rookies, playbook. Oh, yeah, we still do need to get a ball. Yeah, we can do that. When did the DK Redemption start, Scott? Start there in he's a redemption in Phoenix for real. All right, here we go. Ryan Finley, Zeke. I've really started to like Phoenix a lot more now that the redemptions or the um, parallels are coming into play more. There's a Josh Allen out of 99 and a Travis Homer out of 35 auto for the Seattle Seahawks going out to Todd Shaw. Pink out of 35. Travis Homer. My homie, as Scott would say. Illusions. 
I don't know. I don't think I have any illusions in house. Josh, let me ask you, and I'm curious, honestly. I wondered this. What do you like about illusions? I'm not saying I don't like it. I want to know. I've asked this too before. Mike Cornette loves legacy. So I always like to know like why that set. So let me ask you why do you like illusions? I want to see if it's like a team thing or Miles Sanders for the Philadelphia Eagles. Patch auto out of this one's out of 149 going out to Jason Allen Deason. There you go. Winners tonight. They do, Scott. The whole cart. The whole card is one color. I'll have to look what that looks like together, Josh. If you have a picture of what that looks like, let me know. I want to see what you mean. Sanders, Newton, Deron Payne, Catching Fire, Hopkins out of 99. Justice Hill out of 299. We got a Josh Allen QB Vision. Drew Locke, rookie card. Probably top load that at this point, the way he's selling. Deontay Johnson out of 199. There's our Justice Hill box. And how about a Dwayne Haskins out of 35? QB Vision, super short print there. Out of 35. You like the encased card? I do like that they do it autographed. In 2017, they did not do it autographed. It was... Just it was just an encased card, and it was sometimes I don't even know if they were all numbered. Definitely can do playbook playoff and obsidian. Nobody's feeling rookies and stars. It's crazy, man. I will tell you this: we opened that box of playoff, and for everyone that doesn't like it, man, I couldn't believe it. Uh, Chris ripped off that Mahomes Tyree kill out of ten. Dual auto. That was pretty awesome. Lamar Jackson out of 199. Going out to the Baltimore Ravens. That's going to be Greg Eastis. There you go. Guys, thanks so much for being patient with me for real to get this in. This is actually nice being back in the break room and opening cards. Josh Allen out of 149. I did enjoy the time uh, at the game. But I, I really do enjoy kicking it back. I didn't get to see any of the highlights, which I'm excited to do that tomorrow. Rookie Ryan Finley out of 75 going to the Cincinnati Bengals. That is going to be Chris Vogt. Yeah, it's, it's hard to uh, find a full case of that, honestly. I mean, at, at a reasonable price. TJ Watt out of 299. Matt Ryan out of 299. Just wish you saw more stars. Dude, that is a 7 out of 10. Jimmy G going to the Niners. Steve Peterson. 7 out of 10. Jimmy G. Oh, yeah, Brandon. <laughs> Is that what happened? See, you can feel it too, can't you? <laughs> it, it, it's a real thing. You can feel the heat coming out off the box. <laughs> That's funny. I wouldn't mind doing, man. I honestly wouldn't mind doing like a half case of Phoenix. Would you guys, anybody be interested in that? PYT? I mean, there's some great bets in that checklist for Phoenix. I know this break's taking a little bit. I'm, I'm I gotta get back in the shape for the for breaking. I'm a little slower than I was when I left. Brand, Brandon and Chris slowed me down. Just kidding. I could do that. I really wouldn't mind. Now optic optic comes out. December 20th, I believe it is. And here's my only thing I'm going to say about that. If you're not familiar with Optic, you have to understand that it's one autograph. I'm not going to say hit. One autograph per box. 
But before I answer Aaron's question, I'm sure Brandon will step up and say what he wants to say. But uh, um, I lost my train of thought. Again, that never happens. But all oh, the parallels. I mean, like I said, if you go look at like what Mahomes optic parallels go for, what Lamar Jackson optic parallels go for, what Bakers were going for at the time where he was at his peak, you know, Drew Locke right now is going to be one you're going to get. They do really, really well. So, um, <laughs> well, listen, so, so I told them, this is how our game worked. Um, Aaron, I'll get to the, your question here in a second, because what Brandon said, I was moving like a, a madman through the stadium. So we woke up late, like I told you, and and I'm like, guys, we had bought these VIP tailgating passes, so it was all you could eat and drink. But I told them I wanted to get into the game early. I wanted them to see Lamar warm up because Lamar, we have front row t tickets, and Lamar warms up right in front of us. The Ravens warm up right in front of us. So, um, and uh, so we go to this tailgating thing, and we had to wait a while to get like in line for food. And stuff, and then I'm like, we we had drank a few beers and stuff, and we're like, all right, let's get into the stadium. But I saw what time it was. I'm like, shit, we're never gonna like. There's no way, we're never gonna see him. So I take off. We entered from the opposite side and had to walk all the way like to the other half of the stadium. And just as we get there, they get to see Lamar walking into the tunnel. So they did get to see Lamar. Um, but then, so I'm like, well, whatever, guys. We didn't see them. The Bills are starting to warm up going out of 199 so i was like let's go use the bathrooms get like get a couple beers and stuff so we did that we walked down to our seats we get down to our seats and there's someone sitting in our seats and uh i'm like hey you know we're, we're, these are our seats he goes oh that's fine there we go out of 50 hunter henry for the la chargers going out to josh long there you go josh it's a cool card so he's like it's cool i've been just trying i was just trying to get flutie's autograph and I said, was he here? He goes, he's right there. <laughs> so I turn around and I freak out. I'm not kidding. Like I said this earlier, like a girl at a Beaver concert. I was like, Flutie, Doug, Doug, you're my favorite player. I was like, come over here, please, please, please. And the rep, <laughs> I'm not lying. I was like a girl screaming, like <laughs> seeing like the Backstreet Boys for the first time. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. Um, so his rep was like, dude, like check this dude out pretty much. Like this guy's freaking out over here and he sent him over and, um, he came over and I was so excited to meet him. I was so excited to shake his hand. I was like, can I please get it? I take my picture with you. I was so excited that apparently I did not miss or I, I missed. I did not see that he had a, uh, a Sharpie in his hand. <laughs> and Brandon's like, dude, he had a Sharpie and said, what do you want me to sign? <laughs> dude, I didn't even care. I just wanted my picture with him to shake his hand. It would have been cool to see him sign. There we go. Ryan Finley for the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, going out to who got them again? That's a, the second hit. Yeah, Chris Vogt with another one. That's a second Finley in this break. But the guy that was in our seats go this. He goes, this is bullshit. He goes, I sat there for an hour waiting for him to come over. They said he didn't go over there once, and he came over when I started freaking out. Devontae Parker out of twenty five. So it was just cool, man. For those of you who don't know, that's my all time favorite Bills player, Doug Flutie. I've never seen him at a game before. He got the crowd fired up. People were chanting Flutie, Flutie. I never heard it that loud to get like a player. It was pretty cool. Dealing out of 450 and Barclays, who's junk in my opinion right now. I don't know. It was cool though. It made my it made my week for sure. Aaron Donald and for the Washington Redskins, Bryce Love. I still don't know if I believe Brandon when he said he had a marker. I didn't see it. Preston Williams had a three ninety nine, and that's going to be a Byron Jones at a seventy five. 
game used for the Dallas Cowboys going out to Brandon Bourne. Speaking of Brandon. Do you think that's what it is, Todd? Or do you think that they don't have enough quarterback play to give him the space he needs to make runs? You really? You can't? <laughs> Oh, well, honestly, I'm like memories over materials. I really believe that. That memory I will cherish forever. It would have been cool to get a marker on my sweatshirt, but it was a, it was an Allen sweatshirt and not a Flutie sweatshirt. <laughs> All right, guys, let me go over this. Um, I want to get through this break, Brandon, and then I'll look. I know people are kind of over this tonight. I, at least I feel like it's getting late. Everyone's kind of quiet. That's not true. A lot of you guys are talking. I just feel like I feel like I, I felt so bad making this go as long as it did already. All right, so we have five prizes to give out. Everyone's eligible, and then three five dollar hitless credits. Parker out of twenty five, Garoppolo out of ten, Jackson out of one ninety nine, but a really cool card. Drew Lock base, Justice Hill box hit out of forty, Mike Weber for the Cowboys, Dwayne Haskins out of thirty five, real nice card. Josh Allen rookie out of ninety nine, out of ninety nine status what. Uh, McCole Hardman out of 25. I forget what they call this, but I really love that parallel there. Daniel Jones. Um, what's it called? Rookie on deck. Mahomes out of 99. Uh, out of 299 Haskins. Out of 299 Locke. Out of 25 Peterson. Out of 49 Butler. Out of 49 Collier. Drew Locke base. And out of 25 Pierre Paul. I don't know what I would have had him sign. Like, Brandon, what would I have had him sign? I guess I had the, I did have the uh, the game program in my pocket. For the Dallas Cowboys, certified gamers, Byron Jones, game used, going out to Brandon Bourne. Bryce Love for the Washington Redskins, going out to John Plecker, known as Showtime Mahomes. I had my beanie on. You can't sign a beanie. I didn't have my regular hat. Trust me. I thought of that right away. Uh, I did get him to come back over, and he didn't have his marker on him. But like people who had markers with them did get him to sign. Cincinnati Bengals going out to Chris Vogue. Ryan Finley Swatch. Man, he had three Finleys in this. Calvin Ridley for the Atlanta Falcons going out to David Lawrence. Terry McLaurin for the Washington Redskins going out to uh, Showtime Mahomes. And for the Atlanta Falcons... David Lawrence getting that Matt Ryan swatch. Daniel Jones for the New York Giants going out to Ryan Martin. And this really cool, I'm not sure what this is here. 18 out of 50 turning pro. Really neat card, Daniel Jones for the New York Giants. I thought about my cleavage. I did. <laughs> oh, man, I can't even. All right, I'm going to keep going. Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> It's Vogue with an auto out of 299 for the LA Chargers going out to Josh Long. Hunter Henry out of 50. Miles Sanders for the Philadelphia Eagles. Jason Allen Deason out of 149. And another Ryan Finley out of 49. Chris tearing it up. Darius Slate for the New York Giants. Giants also hot in here. And Caleb Wilson for the Arizona Cardinals going to Ian Hunt. Um... Dexter Williams. All right, I will then. Dexter Williams for the Green Bay Packers. John Stevener. And Kansas City Chiefs. Darwin Thompson going out to Emily Orr. And then Devin White for the Tampa Bay Bucks. Lamar Henry. All right, guys. I'm going to be giving out these five. I think this is the way. Tell me how you guys think this should go. Obviously, the three Cyber Monday pack will be last. Well, at least I think so. Maybe not. Should I do the gold or the Mahomes first? And then would you say this is third, fourth, and fifth? Tell me what you guys think. And I'll check OG chat quick. And you guys can tell me that.
Yeah, that works. Oh, that's true. I did have I did have my um All right, let me let me do this real quick. Write that down quick. Do you guys want to tell me the order we should do those in real quick? I don't know how like I, if the Mahomes should be first or the gold pack. That's pretty cool there, Josh. Gold pack first, and then the Mahomes, Ryan. And then these, I think that's the way it should go. Yeah, we'll do it that way. <laughs> he did have the marker. He could have signed my Michelob can. <laughs> oh, wow. So sad. So sad. Like, listen, that's what happens. Uh... Well, all right, I'll, I have to have it in a way. We're just going to go this way. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. I think that's the best way to do it. So gold pack first, Mahomes. We'll just go that way. That way we're not like waiting around to see who's. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to use the teams because it's going to count as a hit towards the hit list credits. So if you get something here and your team didn't hit, it did now and you still get credit. All right. Uh, give me a second. I have to do this real. I have to switch it over. Display caption. Uh, why isn't it doing this? There we go. Sorry about that, guys. I had to get that figured out there. All right. Here we go. Here's all the teams in. It's because when I take my computer out off the dock to take it to an event like or like to go elsewhere, then I have to reset all the, those things. Top five win in order shown. Min roll five. Good luck, everyone. Final round. Vikings, Packers, Bengals, Lions, Rams. So Vikings, Packers, Bengals, Lions and Rams. So we had a few extra there. Um, let me go ahead and get the, a marker here. Thank you guys again so much for being patient. Honestly, I love you guys. This, this group's amazing. For doing that break with us on the other day when we were a little bit sloshed. Adam D, we'll, we'll crack that bad boy. The Mahomes is going to the Packers, and that's going to be John Stevener. The Cyber Monday pack's going out to Chris Vogt. We'll crack these two. And the Lions is going to be Justin Wren. And the uh, Rams, which is going to be Chris Vogt as well. All right, we'll do three $5 hitless credits in too. Uh, 
well, who knows? Maybe if it's meant to be. It was pretty awesome. I guess my dad knew Flutie was going to be there. He's like, oh, I didn't even think to tell you. I was like, what? Nolan Aaron, uh, Arenado and Cam Reddish rookie going out to Chris. Justin Rand, let's open your pack. Pete Alonzo and woo! Out of 50, Kyler Murray. That's a sweet card. And Chris Volk with another pack here. Did you? That's cool, man. We'll get those figured out tomorrow. RJ Barrett, rookie and out of 199. Ja Morant going out to Chris on that one. All right. We got the gold pack to go yet. And then three $5 hitless credits. Chris, are you sure you did? If you did, I can open it up now if you want, Chris. It is a Giannis and a Russell Westbrook going out to Adam. All right, Chris, do you want me to grab one and open it up quick? I don't mind doing that. We're, we're live. You're here. I, don't, I have no issue doing that at all. You definitely want it. You guys like that Rookies and Stars, huh? I have more of it. I don't know how much more I have left. I think I have at least a case left. No, I didn't have a marker. <laughs> Everyone else had markers. I didn't think to take a marker. I've never gotten an autograph of the game. That's not true. The Pagulas one time. I, like, I never, ever, ever get the, get the, I mean, I usually don't go in early. My brother and I, we usually have a few drinks, <laughs> get there just in time or right after the game. I will from now on. And you know what? You know, I didn't even think of this. The crazy thing was when we were in a rush, I had a marker sitting out and I went to put it in my pocket. I was like, ah, and I threw it on the table. I was like, I'm not going to need it. I don't want to have a marker on me. Oh my God, that's so crazy. All right, who cares? I got to move on. <laughs> it is frustrating now. Why are you guys making me feel bad? Who was this, Chris Taylor? <laughs> I have markers everywhere too. What the fuck? Jimenez and an Austin Riley out of 199. A lot of baseball in this stuff and basketball. That is pretty cool, Aaron. Yeah, I mean, next time I go, I'll definitely do it. It seems to me like the Bills are having more past players come around. So, all right, guys, for real, I'm so happy for you guys as far as just happy to have you guys in this in this group. And what an awesome opportunity to be with Brandon and Chris this weekend. And I hope that I get to do that with more of you guys down the road. Come to, come to a game with me. It's a good time. We had a good time. Um, but... Hope you all are having a good a good start to your week. Hopefully we get the break too. We'll see. Um, I just got to make sure I take care of dad and hubby duties first. So, Oh, Hitless, thank you. Hitless, thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that. Three $5 Hitless credits. I mean, Todd, it's not that I'm opposed to it. I just honestly feel like the last couple like things we did, we really struggled to fill quickly. And so I feel like we vote for it 
And then, like, the last couple things we voted on, like, for example, the PYT the other night, everyone wanted that for Obsidian, number three, and I posted it, and we had to run a bunch of minis and stuff like that. And to me, I don't like it that way. I just, I want us to, like, post something I know we can fail. So I would consider it, but it, it'd have to be, like, a dominant pool. Like, oops. It'd have to be, like, 45 people said they wanted it. Because a lot of times people vote for it, but they're going for two or three teams. And after that, they're like, I'm not going to pay $30 for the Jets or, the, you know, what, I don't know how it would price out. But, you know, sometimes you need to do a full case. It gets pricey, even for the lower end teams. Does that make sense? So no, I just like to keep the, the odds that it will fill. Plus, it sucks to, like, do a full case and then not get not hit and you spend all that money. I don't know, just a few of my thoughts. It's going to be the Jets, Browns, and Bears. So, Chris Taylor, Cleveland Browns is Jerry Thompson, and the Chicago Bears is Corey Downey, each winning $5 credit. All right, guys. Thank you again. I'm sorry. I'll be better tomorrow. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, Josh, I could get more product in 2018 too, honestly. We were doing it in 2018 because A, it wasn't near as expensive to do a full case. The product has just went up and because they, they won't give me much on allocated stuff. So like my prices have went up drastically on my end. So it's a little harder. All right, guys, y'all have a good night. I'll, I'll look to do a PYT tomorrow, though. I like some of your suggestions for the mixers, too. But until then, love, peace, chicken grease. I got to cut back on the chicken grease. I saw those pictures. Woo! I'm a big boy. All right, y'all. You have a good night.